Hey there, it's Brittany Chavers, and I am back today with the July um, Magical Mystery Bead Box, which was themed Sunflowers by Vincent Van Gogh. It was such a pretty box. Um, and today I wanted to make a jewelry set. We're going to make some earrings, um, a necklace, and a bracelet. Because they're going to be using the same colors, they could go together, but I'm not necessarily making them to match. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so the first thing we're going to do is make a pair of earrings. And I grabbed this awesome ear wire from one of the mixes. And it's got a flat side here. And I grabbed these bags or these beads from the, the mini mix that was in the um, kit. So six of the little yellow beads, one of the green crystals. And then I'm also going to grab some 24 gauge wire. Um, it's maybe probably just shy of two feet. We probably won't even need that much, but I always cut a little bit more just in case. Um, I'm going to start by wrapping my wire three times around my ear wire with the longer portion going up the um, the ear wire. So I'm going to set that in the, I made a little dip there. I'm going to set that in the groove. And I'm just going to start. It doesn't really matter how messy it is at first just to get that on there. I just want to get two wraps to get it established. Then I'm going to move it down towards my loop there and pull it a little bit tighter. So now you see we're kind of getting a little bit more uniform. And this is gonna be cut off eventually, so you don't really have to worry about that. You just wanna focus on your first three loops being pretty nice and close to each other. This is not the time for a messy wrap. Okay, so I'm gonna use my fingernails to get those close to each other, and I'm gonna move it all the way down to my little loop there, and hold it and pull it as tight as I can. Then I'm going to feed on one of my little crystals. Okay, and then I'm going to move that all the way down to my ear wire. Right to where my thumbnail was, and I'm going to hold it in place with my thumbnail. And then I'm going to wire wrap around the ear wire again. And pull tight. And I'm going to do it three times. So there's one, there's two, and then there's three. And then I'm going to load on another yellow bead. We're going to repeat that twice. So we have three beads on the ear wire. To make sure that they're in the same spot, I'm just going to hold it where my finger is, hold my finger behind where the bead is, um, and keep them even with each other, and then kind of pinch with my thumbnail. And then we're just going to wrap again three times. All right, and we're going to continue. you can kind of see the, the ear wire is getting in the way of the wire. That's no problem. We're just going to hold this in place, bring the ear wire, or I'm sorry, bring the wire around and come to around the ear wire itself. So just need a little bit of patience. Okay, now I'm going to load on my green bead. And we're just going to put it in the exact same spot where the yellow are, uh, the yellow beads are, like that, and do a three again. And then I'm just going to repeat after this third wrap with the yellow beads until I have all three that are left attached to my ear wire. All right, I have all my beads on, and then to finish it off, we're just going to finish it like we started it. Hold the bead in place, do three wraps. Make sure those are close together. And then we'll just snip our wire. And then we'll just snip our wire down here as well. So your, your wire should look like that. 
and you can use any beads from the kit because this is just such a wonderful ear wire to wire onto. But I am going to grab some beads from the um, strand, the Yellow House strand, and I'm gonna take, I'm actually just gonna take this pair, so cute. Um, you're gonna need an, a head pin, a small yellow crystal, and a crystal rondelle spacer. Just gonna place that pair on the head pin, then the spacer, then our crystal. And I'm just doing a simple loop, but if you wanted to do a wire wrap loop, that's totally fine. I'm gonna go ahead and do bend the wire at 90 degrees, cut the excess off, and just do a simple loop by curling my wire towards the front of the bead. Then I'm gonna take our really wonderful um, sunflower chain um, and I am going to grab a sunflower. So since the jump rings and the links in this chain are so nice, I'm just gonna open up a jump ring instead of cutting it out. So grab this. And then we can save that for other projects. Take your ear wire, swing this part open. Don't pull, we wanna swing it open just like we would a jump ring. I'm gonna put on my sunflower, close that back up, and then I'm gonna open my dangle and hang it on the other side of my sunflower and close it back up. And we have a fantastic pair of earrings. I mean, these are gonna grab everybody's attention. Aren't those so much fun? I love the color palette. That yellow with the green is just so, so cute. And the gold really sets it off. All right, so here's our first project. We're gonna move in to our bracelet. For the bracelet, I just pulled out some yellow, most of the yellow and the brown beads from one of the bead mixes, and some Sheriff Stars, some jump, um, some bead caps, and then this little charm. We're gonna make just a really simple charm bracelet using these beautiful beads. I just wanted to have just a pop of green because I want it to be mostly the colors of the flower itself. And then I grabbed a um, magnetic clasp from Jesse James Beads. This was not in the kit, but Jesse James Beads also sells the magnetic clasps. I have some 19 strand beetle on bead string wire and some beetle on crimp tubes. And then I'm just gonna de design my piece. I also grabbed a um, an eight, like a figure eight connector from our beautiful beaded chain. So I think that's what's gonna hold my charm. So you'll need a jump ring as well. Jump ring to attach the clasp to the figure eight. So I'm gonna design from there. I think we're gonna start with our little green bead and then move into our cute little crystal here or a little brown crystal and we'll do a yellow cube a brown crystal and then I'm just gonna repeat that now I only have two green beads so I'm gonna um, actually probably end up putting this on the other side we'll put in a yellow brown just gonna keep going with that pattern and I'll slip this green one in kind of right there. Um, throughout, I'm gonna end up putting in some, I have a couple bead caps, and then I also have some um, Crystal Rondelle spacers. I'm gonna put on my Rondelle spacer, and just keep going.
So I've decided I'm not just going to use that figure eight. I'm gonna put on um, a section of this chain. I think that'll be super duper cute. Um, and so I'll, I'm going to take off the jump ring right here. and attach that to my clasp, okay. And then I'm gonna take my crimp bead and put it on my wire and then string that through my clasp. Come back down. And you want to make sure that your wire isn't crossed when it's in the crimp bead. There we go. Settle that crimp tube into the largest valley of your crimping pliers. I'm going to move it down just a little bit more so there's less of a, a loop hanging out there. And then we will squish and turn that sideways and we're going to fold it again. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side and attach it to this figure eight right there. Okay, I removed one little um, figure eight and one jump ring to make sure it fit my wrist correctly. Um, and that's the good thing about this. You can make it as long or as short as you'd like if you wanted to turn it into an anklet or maybe even a double wrap bracelet. And it's super easy to put on and take off. I'm just going to attach my little charm to the figure eight. And we have a cute little sunflower charm bracelet. And if these colors don't scream sunflower, I don't know what does. <laughs> so cute. Oh. And I'll show you what it looks like on. And there we go. Super cute bracelet. You can wear the focal on the top or the bottom. All right, for our last piece, I'm gonna be using a lot of the blues um, for, for the, the sky for this bracelet, or for this necklace. And um, this is going to be the focal point, which is also a magnetic clasp. It's so cute. Um, and we're also going to be using this Hishi bead strand. That is just stunning. I love, love, love the calm colors. And we're gonna be using the beads I have right here. So I'm gonna open my strand but be kind of careful to leave most of the beads still on it because it's easier to grab and, and um, string that way. And I'm gonna kind of plan out what how I want the necklace to look. I'm going to be doing the beads in between some of these Hishi beads. Now the Hishi strand isn't symmetrical, which is okay, which means our necklace isn't going to be symmetrical in color wise, but I am going to put these beads on symmetrically. So we have our beautiful little sunflower um, clasp, then our cute little frosted bohos. We have these nice yellow beads. This here. And I really liked how it looked by putting a sheriff star on a larger jump ring. So we'll kind of hook that in there somewhere. Maybe right here. Oh, for this necklace, it's gonna have two connection points because our clasp is in the front. 
the two connection points will be in the front. So we kind of just have to decide how many beads I would like between each focal and then go from there. Grab a crimp bead. I'm going to crimp onto my focal first. I could just take this part off. And we'll just crimp like we did earlier in the video. And I cut a length off of my spool. And what I'll do later is add the chain at the back of the necklace to finish it off. So I'm gonna start off with this little brown cube, slide that all the way down. Then I added on one of the spacers that was on the Heishi strand. And then I'm gonna grab um, a little pinch of beads. And I'm not really counting right now, but I do wanna pay attention when I'm doing the second half of this necklace and do at least um, a similar amount, if not the exact same amount. If you don't feel like counting, that's totally fine. You can just kind of guesstimate, but you want them to feel balanced on the necklace. Okay, and then I'm gonna add on my blue bead. like that, and then I'm gonna keep going. Okay, so I've strung on my beads and I'm just gonna put a clamp on this side of the necklace for now in case I decide to change it up or um, I want to add more beads. And then I am going to do the exact same thing on the other side. All right, I finished the other side and I haven't crimped yet onto my chain, but I just love it. It's so sweet. I think I'm gonna use this as a layering necklace. Um, so I want this to be a little bit shorter than I normally make my necklaces. And I'll, tuck, I'll make sure to tuck that little guy in before I finish crimping but um, yeah I think it's the cutest little necklace now I'm gonna grab my chain and I'm just gonna crimp onto the back and since it's going to be a short necklace I really don't need much I think I'm maybe doing a foot of this chain probably should do a little less but then um, I'm just gonna open up this jump ring and take it off And I'm going to crimp right onto here because it's closed and it will um, not allow my uh, wire to slip through. And then I'm going to crimp right on to, I think I'm going to crimp right onto this figure eight right here. So we have an extra ring for later. And you'll just complete that same step of crimping like I showed you earlier. And now I have a custom necklace and tons, and I do mean tons of bead lef beads left from the um, August box. There, are, I mean, you could still make probably 10 more projects. So right here, all I did was take a sheriff star and slide it right onto a jump ring. And then I threaded it on the um, string like a bead. So I love this necklace. I think my favorite thing out of this um, video are these earrings closely followed by the necklace and my bracelet and I can wear all three together or separately so I hope you enjoyed the video um, and I hope you have fun with your magical mystery bead box and uh, thank you to Jesse James Beads for having me back have a good day bye bye
That pillow must be really comfy. I bet it is. I can't believe you're smaller than a pillow. Hi, Goldie. Hi, cutie. You're so tiny. Hi, cutie.